maybe you're thinking about moving to Texas and Tomball, Texas is on your radar, or maybe you live in Houston and you wanna get further out and get some space and some land. This is a very charming town that you need to check out. And so today's video, I wanna go over all just what it's like living in Tomball, Texas. Hi there, I'm Natasha Tessier. I'm the owner of Dwell Realty and Design. And in today's video, I am in downtown Tomball here. It is a charming, vibrant little town with a ton going on. And it's been growing and changing nonstop. We first moved back to Tomball in 2017. And even since then, the whole entire downtown has changed so much. There's so many new restaurants. I'm sitting in front of a cute candy shop. Right behind me is the Fire Ant Brewery. There's also Paradigm Brewery. So two new breweries just in the past five years. So much to do here and so much to see. So some of the live music that they have here is at Main Street Crossing. They bring in great singers from all over the world. I've been there a few times. Really small bar area but you can see live local music on the weekends and then also they have Cisco's which is like a famous Mexican restaurant here and Cisco's also has live music outside on the patio Friday and Saturday night really good margaritas and Mexican food and then you also have the train depot in downtown Tomball the Houston rodeo takes its trail ride and takes it right down through Main Street which is really cool we've been here for that so you can kind of see all the rodeo people coming in. They have the German festival twice a year, once in the fall and once in the spring. That is a huge fun time. Everybody dresses up in their best German gear and you can get a boot where you can drink your beer out of a boot. There's, you know, Ferris wheels and all sorts of rides and games for the kids, all German themed. So that's a really cool time twice a year. There's Tomball market days and the shopping days where they go through the whole neighborhood and they have the restaurant and stores and things will be open late and so you can go in and you can shop and they change it it's usually seven times a year so you can go in you can shop late sometimes they'll do it in the afternoon if it's cooler out right now it's really really hot so they probably wouldn't do it this time of day but Tomball market days are really fun also Tomball has a farmers market every single Saturday 52 weeks a year really great farmers market all locally grown vegetables and meat so you can come here they also have a brand new art market every Saturday behind the farmer's market. So it's just a ton going on here. A really cool place to check out. Another one is Rebar, which is a new newer coffee shop and they donate and, and feed a lot of the homeless. So they've kind of got a missionary thing going on. And then there's also like, I, I know the person who owns, one of my good friends owns the flower shop here. So that's really cute to go see. Of course you have your big box stores. You've got your HEB, Walmart, Chick-fil-A, you know, all those things too. You also have charming little restaurants. So Bonfire Grill is one of our favorite restaurants. It's right on Main Street and that's really fun. They do have also two parades a year in downtown where they shut down the downtown. They have a homecoming parade where the whole high school comes through and the band and all that. And they do the homecoming king and queen. And then they also have a Christmas parade, which is several hours long with Santa at the end of the parade. So if you're looking for charm and a lot to do and a quaint little town tons of antique shops and little boutiques all around there's a great kids anthem shop right back here is craft chicks i take all my clients when they close with me at the end of the year we all go and we we paint a door hanger that like a wreath for our door or whatever so i love to spoil my clients and do that with them but anyway so much to do in downtown tomball and then of course we've discussed several ways to live so i will go through the community of amira and wood trace with you those are master plan communities and then you also have the community of willow creek ranch this is a luxury community it starts about 1.5 million goes up to 4 million absolutely stunning neighborhood there's a 42 acre lake there's a fitness center a beach entry they have yoga they have state-of-the-art stables with 10 miles of trails so if you're looking for luxury i would look in willow creek ranch and then i will also drive you through now down here in tomball there are several 
hundred-year-old homes that have been remodeled, quaint, charming homes, and then also some that have been torn down and remodeled. So there's all sorts of ways to live down here, and then you can also live on land, and you can live on five acres right near the city as well. Lots to do, lots to choose from here in Tomball. One more thing I'd like to mention as far as entertainment, they have like the local movie theater, but they also have the showboat drive-in movie theater here in Tomball. It's about five miles down 2920. Really fun, you get two movies in one night. If it's a cooler night, you can you know park your car and watch the drive-in movies, which is kind of an old-timey way of watching movies. So that's also really cool. I feel like Tomball is just a super underrated community with a lot going on. It's great location. It's sandwiched in between the woodlands and Cypress. And so you can get down 249, you can get about anywhere. 249, again, is the freeway that has now been extended to College Station. It's called the Aggie Expressway. So you can get almost anywhere from Tomball, and then you can get to the Woodlands in 15 minutes. Cypress is usually about 10, 15 minutes, and then even Katy is not that far. And downtown is probably 30 minutes from here without traffic. Hey guys, I wanted to show you Tejas Chocolatier and Barbecue, which sounds weird, but really famous barbecue restaurant written up all over Texas Monthly. You've probably seen it, seen it on a cooking or TV show where they tour different places. It's always written up for their famous barbecue. The wife was making chocolate, the husband started making barbecue, everybody loved it. So Tejas Chocolatier and Barbecue. They also started Tejas Burger in downtown Tomball where they take brisket meat and make amazing fancy burgers with it. You really need to come check this place out. Okay, so if you are going to move to Tomball, Texas, and you wanna to go to the public schools, you are going to go to Tomball or Tomball Memorial. Those are the two high schools. Tomball's the original, Tomball Memorial is the newer of the two. They do have a third high school slated. One of the other YouTubers said 2024. That is incorrect information. It's going to open in 2026. Right here, I'm standing outside the Tomball Stadium. We will get some good overview footage for you. This is a $52 million brand new football stadium right now. It's just for those two high schools, which if you know Texas football, they can have 10,000 people on a Friday night in a high school stadium. Football's really big. They are 6A. We talked about Magnolia. It's 5A. They are small 6A right now and also growing. Right here by the stadium is a brand new junior high and elementary. And then, like I said, they have land slated for a third high school, which will come in 2026. Lots of growth and thriving area for Tomball. Really exciting. It is one of the A-rated districts as a whole. But again, another YouTuber said every Every single school is A rated, that's not correct. There are several elementaries, even one that has a C rating and several with a B. So you just need to be careful. You wanna look at har.com and go to the academic section. They're rating it based on academics, not on different, more subjective categories. They are rating it based on subjective categories. So it's it's really how the kids are performing is the score. So they're not, an all, even though the whole district is A rated, you need to look at each school in each area and see what they're zoned to and how that school rating is but I thought you'd love to see the new stadium so here we are to check that out master plan community options. Amira is where I'm at now. And then we have Wood Trace. I'll talk about Amira first. Probably starting in the 350s, 400s, going up to over 700. Great master plan community right off 99, zone to Tomball ISD. It was named after a, an, it used to be an Arabian stable where they sold horses. And so all the street names and stuff are all have to do with horses and dapples and things like that, which is really cool. It has an amazing, amazing Amenity Center, you cannot beat it. It is like living at a luxury resort and great pool. And then also lakes for fishing, very conveniently located right off 99. You're kind of right by Cypress on your way to Katy near Tomball and the Woodlands. So that's Amira. Wood Trace is another great master plan community option in the Tomball area, zoned to Tomball ISD. And that one is a gated community, has walking paths, trails, neighborhood pool, parks everywhere, 
and also a large fishing lake. I lived there during Harvey. It drained perfectly, really great. Higher end, I would say those start closer to the 500 range and go up maybe up to 800, 900 range. So those are two great options for a master plan community in the Tomball area. So if you're looking in Tomball, I would love to help you. I, you can reach out to me anytime, day, night, evenings, weekends. If you call, you will get my cell phone. I don't run a huge team. I don't have 15 agents under me. It's just me and my assistant Megan and I have a showing assistant but really you if you call the number below you will talk to me and I would love to help you born and raised here so reach out anytime if I can help you with your move and have a blessed day.